Well, he too, probably the easier qualification when you look at the teams who are in this Bahamas uh, without... Uh, they, they have great athletes but not running in this uh, particular event. Brazil, they'll uh, struggle a little bit. Their national record is 3.15. Mendes, uh, I think best will uh, go off in the lead off. Ireland made the final of the Olympic Games and will be hoping somehow to do it here. They've got an opportunity in terms of the draw and uh, two or three of them are running pretty well this year. Certainly O'Donnell on the first leg, if he could set it up for them, then they've got a good opportunity. Now Jamaica again, a wealth of talent available to them, they've chosen Gay, then McGregor's going to go after that, Bartley James, an inexperienced team really at this sort of level for Jamaica, when you think of all the 400 talent that they've had, probably less on the men's side but certainly on the women's, and then the German team, Schneider, Schwab, Schlegel, and then Schmidt on the last leg, and then on the inside the Olympic silver medalist, Dominican Republic, Felix is in the team and Paulino, she's gone on the last leg, one of them very, very strong athletes, what a year she had last year, really came to the fourth the Olympic Games and was a big factor in Dominican Republic picking up the silver medal. So on the inside, lane one Dominican Republic, lane two Germany, lane three Jamaica, lane four Ireland, lane five Brazil, Bahamas in six, South Africa not starting, they should have been in lane seven and then in lane eight Spain. First three to go through. We'd have to run about 3.13 to get a fastest qualifier spot for not the top three. A little bit of an echo from the electronic gun, but they're away safely. Chris O'Donnell hasn't started quite as quick as he might have liked it. Hernandez Mendes of Brazil has started very, very quickly. 45 second man this year. So, Ireland, uh, given chase, Jamaica started pretty swiftly as well. But right on the outside, the Spaniards with uh, Canal, very experienced. And Canal is maybe, let's just see whether or not he's judged this right. We certainly started pretty fast. Don't forget, there's a double stagger in the uh, because of the relay. So, it's Spain, though, well out in front of the moment. Bahamas, Brazil, Ireland. Connell is starting to come through a little bit now, which is a uh, really encouraging for them they really need to start well but the olympic silver medalists on the inside in lane two have not had a good start it'll be just about well spain have faded there maybe even germany and jamaica in the lead yeah uh that double stagger uh, i think uh fooled us a little bit but jamaica's running very well Demish gay on that uh first leg ran a great first leg put jamaica in really good position here we see them now breaking for the inside jamaica still in control of this race a little bit of a gap and uh, just trailing at the back a little bit, the Olympic silver medalist. We'll have Paulino on the last leg, and she could run down three or four, definitely. Just get, taking or getting a little bit closer, but the top three well clear here. Germany in the mix, might not have expected to be, but Ireland right up there as well. But Jamaica just uh, trying to hold off. Renisha McGregor trying to hold off Schwab, but Schwab just fading a little bit now, and Spain coming back through, but what a leg for Dominican Republic. Olympic silver medalists are right back in this now. They'll go in the lead. And not the greatest handoff by the uh, Dominican Republic there, but a great second leg to follow. A very good first leg. And again, as you said, Steve, they've got Paulinho, who has the fastest time in the world in open 400 meters and will figure uh, hopefully into those medals and probably fences her chances for gold in that event this year. Jack Rafferty trying to hang on to this group. There's five of them well clear. The top three teams must come from these five teams. It's Dominican Republic, Spain, Germany, Jamaica, and then the tall figure of Rafferty trying to come round the outside and trying to give them an opportunity on the last leg. Don't forget, as Michael just said, Paulina will be so strong. Dominican Republic leading. Yeah, Steve, Jamaica was just tripped up a little bit down there on that bend and had to uh, kind of restart and certainly affected his, uh, his stride pattern down there. So that put him behind a little bit, but they're still in good position right now. But that's Paulinho on the, uh, on the ankle leg here and already starting to, to really control this and starting to separate from the field. Yeah, Germany with a crew change from Schlegel to Schmidt and Schmidt is now seven or eight meters behind the top four but look at the battle here for the top three places Adeleke from Ireland has just moved into third past Spain does she still have something left she went off pretty fast through that first 200 look at Paulino now just turning it on and I think Ireland are going to qualify here with 120 to go 
Adelike is running exceptionally well under the shoulder of Jamaica and these three have pulled well clear of the others just keeping an eye on the clock here I don't think we'll get a fastest loser from this heat it's going to be Dominican Republic the Olympic silver medalist taking this and Ireland are going to qualify for the final Jamaica crossing the line and uh, it's a bit slow for the other teams Bahamas uh, well behind with Brazil well that's a great great result for Ireland and just looking at the uh, clock it's not going to be a national record in a second or two down on that, but a good, well put together, good start for them. Got, you, you have to get in the mix, Michael, in that first leg. I mean, we did see Poland come back from an awful first start, but you, 